Hi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to buy wire or buy amp using an Onkyo AV receiver. The first thing we need to do is make sure we've got all the black inserts out of the binding posts so we can actually use the good old banana plugs. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I actually recommend using a self tapping wood screw. Put a shit in, half a turn, and then it pops with the black insert. This is now going to actually let you connect a banana plug directly to the binding posts. There we go. Connected correctly and it allows you to use a better cable instead of using the bare wire method. And you can do this to all the, the plugs on the back of the AVR. And also don't forget to do the same to the actual speakers. Make sure the blanking plugs are removed so you can insert the 4mm banana plugs. Right, the first thing we need to do is actually plug the speaker cables into the main left and right posts. So there we go, that's the left done. And now we connect up the right. Where possible, I will always use banana plugs because it allows for a much neater installation. And there we go, that's the main front left and right done. Then making sure the plastic inserts are actually removed from the speakers. It's a nice easy case of just plugging the 4mm banana plugs directly into the back. And there we go, everything is now single wired and you can now start running the Odyssey microphone setup or put it in pure audio mode and start listening to stereo music. Here you are, as you can see, we've now single wired the amplifier to the speakers using the main front left and front right channels. Now we can actually go a stage further if you want to and it's called by wiring. We're now going to actually by wire the speakers. This involves using the same channels of the amplifier and the plugs I'm using here allow you to insert another set of banana plugs into the back of them and allows for a nice easy tidy installation. Now all we need to do is the same for the other side and then we're actually going to connect up the speaker but before you add any more than one set of speaker cables to the speakers you must make sure you actually remove the, the links between the tweeter and the base if you don't remove these then you will actually short circuit the system and the amp will go into protect mode so different speakers do it slightly different ways but this is a pretty generic situation you'll see on the back of a speaker. Just unwind the binding posts, remove the links and then wind the binding posts back up and you're ready to go. So now it's a case of plugging the second set of speaker cables into the speakers and now we're driving the tweeters independently of the base mid-range. We're using the single amplifier inside the receiver to drive both the tweeter and the base mid-range. And that's it, we're now done by wiring the speakers from the AV receiver. And now we're going to move on to by amping. The single difference between by wiring and by amping is with by amping we're going to use a separate amplifier to drive each drive unit actually in each speaker. So here I'm actually connecting the tweeter to a separate amplifier within the receiver. So as you can see from here, one set of cables runs to the base driver, then the other set of cables run from another amplifier inside the receiver to the tweeter. Now all you need to do is make sure the other side's matched up the same, as you can see here in the picture. We've got four separate amplifiers running the four separate terminations actually on the speaker cabinet. Now once all the wiring's actually done, we need to go into the on-screen menu and actually assign those second set of amplifiers to the main source two-channel signal to output to the speakers. Very simply, press the setup button, which will take you to the main setup menu. Move down to number two, speaker setup. Then we need to go into number one, speaker settings. And then here you select your impedance, depending on what manufacturer speakers you have between four or six ohms. Six ohms can be used if you're actually running eight ohm speakers. 
Then what you need to do is move down to front speakers normal and switch it to biamp. As you do this, you'll actually see on the front panel of the window a biamp light up to actually let you know you're running in biamp mode. And that's it. You come out of the menu and we're all done and ready to listen to your music and your movies in biamp mode. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Many thanks. Bye bye.